today we are here at National Dairy Research Institute. Uh, the scientists of this prestigious institute have achieved another milestone after uh, cloning. Somatic cell count is uh, the, uh, the standard which is required for the milk, uh, uh, clean milk production. And in our case at NDRI, we have uh, developed the standard for this. And the standard in case of buffalo is uh, up to 1 lakh uh, somatic cells per ml. And in case of the indigenous cow, particularly the saiwal, which we have used here, is the standard goes to 1 lakh to uh, 1.5 uh, lakhs per ml. Uh, so this standard is required to have a export quality milk production and what we call the clean uh, milk production uh, here. Sir, how uh, it will help in uh, export, enhancing as export quality? Uh, see that uh, the, for export quality, uh, so we need to have a first is the clean milk production and the other thing is with the milk should be the pesticide free and other whatever the components which has been considered that not good for the milk or bacterial load and so many things are there. But here, in case of the somatic cells, uh, because if you are uh, having a more than 2 lakhs uh, somatic cells per ml in the milk, so it should not be considered good for the export quality milk. And at the same time, so it uh, may not be considered as a good for the drinking. So what we have uh, thought that let us have a work in this area. Dr. Ajay Dang has worked here at the physiology department uh, in this institute. And then we have uh, uh, developed the standard for to have a clean milk uh, from the, our indigenous uh, the cattle as well uh, as well as from the buffalo. The international standard which is required for the export quality milk production or milk uh, products. Uh, we are following those uh, area, but a uh, lot of things need to be done still. And uh, hopefully, so we will enhance in, uh, we with the help of the proper research and proper uh, the milk production protocol so we uh, will able to enhance the export of the milk and milk products with us uh, dr dang to know uh, sir you have achieved this milestone after a long research of more than 10 years what kind of challenges do uh, you have faced see the biggest challenge which we faced was earlier we were not having any machine so we used to bring the milk sample and then we used to stain the slide and see it under the microscope, count the cells. So the variability was very much. But now we have some good quality machines and we have standardized the technique. So in the field we are giving training to the farmers so that uh, our farm veterinarians are there. They can do under a simple microscope. And in the research laboratories we are using some very good instruments. So now our results are coming very good. and. Uh, they are at par with the international standard. Sir, what are the reasons for the high uh, limit, the high count, uh, somatic cell counts? See, the biggest uh, reason for high somatic cell counts is that whenever we are keeping our animal in some unhygienic condition or whenever our animal is prone to any kind of bacteria or pathogen, so these bacteria, they enter the memory gland and once they enter the memory gland, the number of cells from the blood, they come more towards the milk so that they can kill that bacteria. So more and more cells when they come in the memory gland, they come in the milk and they deteriorate the quality of the milk. So the pH of the milk changes, the lactose content, various proteolytic enzymes, all these things, they increase in milk and the quality of milk, it decreases. And the milk products also decrease. So it is a great challenge, but so far one more thing I would like to add that in India, the biggest challenge is still we are uh, pricing the money of uh, the pricing the milk money based on the fat percentage we are at international standard somatic cell counts are being used and the countries are giving premium for them so we hope that soon our country also all these regulations will be there and we will have more good quality milk grade a milk and we can also export our milk product. so these were the scientists who have achieved this uh, milestone uh, they claim that uh, the research will help in enhancing the milk export quality